Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your HP computer to factory state without the need for a CD or DVD. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button at one time. And you want to type in reset. Best match should come back with Reset This PC right above System Settings. Just left click on that one time to load the settings screen that you see right here. And then once it's loaded, you want to direct your attention over to the right where it says Recovery. And underneath that it says Reset This PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them. And then reinstall as Windows. So left click on this Get Started button right here. You'll be presented with two options once the next screen has loaded. So we have the ability to either keep your files or remove everything. Even though it says keep your files, it will remove apps and settings. I would still highly suggest backing up any important files or documents to an external medium, like USB flash drive or CD or DVD before proceeding with that. But if you want to do a complete factory reset, we're going to select remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So we're going to select that for this tutorial. And we're going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to get through before we actually begin the resetting process. So just please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So our HP computer should have been reset to factory state at this point. So I would recommend getting your computer set up how you like it, and then creating a system restore point, and then a backup to an external medium source. So like a USB flash drive, CD, DVD, whatever you prefer, just as good practice. But I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.